meet Lego Wonder Woman. She's here to explain two of the most commonly used terms in digital humanities, data and metadata. Let's take data first. The word data is generally used as a collective noun to mean facts or pieces of information. If we think of these pieces as bricks, we can imagine the task of the researcher is to sort through the pile of bricks to make connections. A pile of facts can be organized into a data set. Researchers use data sets to support their inquiries. Let's move on to metadata. Metadata is information about information. In this case, it is information about the types of bricks that have been used to make our structure. For instance, some are pink with six studs and some bricks are blue, clear with four studs. This allows us to organize our bricks into useful groups. It's easier to start building when you have this instead of this. Computers think this way too. This works in the opposite direction also, allowing us to filter objects according to the characteristics described in their metadata. We can drill down even more into this metadata to filter it according to tags or types. We know that this structure, or data set, is made up of 186 pieces. Of these, 35 are pink, 16 are green, and so on. The pink bricks can be filtered by characteristics, such as how many studs they have. The same can be done with data sets. Each has additional information to tell you about the data set as a whole, how many items, what format they take. This is the metadata. Knowing this information helps researchers organize their own data sets and understand others. Thank you.